Okay. Um, can you tell a little bit about your fondest memory of Year 12 students? Yeah, of course. Um, the fondest memory I had this year, my Year 12 Health and HD class, which were the best class. It was lovely getting to know them, whether it was over Zoom or in the classroom. Probably my favourite day I had with them was actually our last day, and it was just lovely to celebrate all their hard work and everything they've achieved this year and just get to know them a little bit better and talk to them about where they want to go in the future. So that was probably my fondest memory, yeah our remote learning experience together. It was a unique experience for all of us. At times, yes, the class was rather quiet. There wasn't much interaction, but then there was times when the girls would take charge. Miss, press this button, maybe try that button. <laughs> and we always managed to get, our, get through it. And yes, that'll stay with me forever. Coming here, changing campuses um, after being at the boys campus for 10 years, I mean, I literally felt like a brand new teacher. So I was very nervous at the beginning of the year, didn't know how to exactly be as a teacher, in not having or not knowing exactly what to expect. It's been amazing teaching teaching girls and how they respond and how, how they actually listen to every word that you've got to say and everything. So it's been an amazing journey. So I can't really say, of a, or think of a single fondest memory, but it's just every time I've had class with my year 11s and year 12s, or just the just all the students in general, whenever I interact with them, it's been an amazing journey, so it's... They made a WhatsApp group during our Zoom sessions, so they assigned someone uh, to answer my questions on a schedule so that I don't pick on everyone. <laughs> so that was so smart of them. I think the precious relationship we had with them, I can easily say they are my best bunch. Uh, so far, I'm very, very happy, very proud of them. My fondest memory is actually very, very recent, um, and it's a bit of a personal one. The last week, my family dog, we had to put him down uh, through old age. I came in to work a couple of days after, and I was still quite upset. While I was taking a moment to reflect and, and think about what had happened, a few of the cohort of this year's year 12s saw me and they came and asked me what was wrong. And without prompting or without me asking, without even thinking, a couple of hours later when I was in my office, quite a few of them came by with some flowers and chocolates. And uh, I, I was quite taken back by that. Uh, there was obviously no need for them to do that. but. The fact that they, when they see someone that's hurting, they try to support them. And particularly at the, this pointy end of the year, I was quite touched by their kindness. It's hard to pick one single memory, but from meeting the girls early in 2019, going on camps with them, trips, and my legal studies class this year, I would say being together with them, every moment of it is pretty much a fond memory. I can't say, you know, it's difficult after experiencing the lockdown, being away from each other. I think you truly appreciate being together. So I probably have to say being together with them. Um, as you know, I went through uh, a certain incident when my mother passed away. The day when I went home to get something, you know, in front of my door, there was a large flower with uh, year 12 students' notes on it. And uh, that memory, I would never forget that in my life. Does it have to go back to last year when there was a mini tornado visiting Sirius College and we decided to run a colour run. Um, on that day, we had blow up castle, we had mats flying everywhere, we had hail, we had rain, but still the resilience you showed girls to get that on in that small pocket of sunshine we had and continue on with an amazing event, that would have to be pretty strong fond memory. <laughs> Um, it's been a little bit hard to have a fondest memory this year because of COVID, but the way the girls adapted, um, their resilience they showed all through lockdown learning um, and all through the changes that kept happening, their flexibility, it was uh, amazing to see that they were able just to soldier on and keep going in a very, very tough situation. I think my fondest memories belong to the pre-COVID era. I was the year 11 physics teacher for 2019 graduates and I wanted to organize a boomerang incursion especially for physics candidate students for year 10s. This cohort was year 10 and I was trying to convince them to choose physics. And we had this amazing incursion. That was our first meeting. Some of them got dizzy after the incursion. They got exhausted. Some of them even puked. That was my fondest memory. 
definitely been um, the opportunity to teach some beautiful and highly talented girls who have been so welcoming to me and kind to me as a new teacher here. So I just want to say thank you for all the times that you had to guide me because I didn't know where things were. It's been such a tough time for them and last year in year 11 we had some gorgeous times. We had chocolate Fridays with my year 11 history people. It was just really great. And then this year sort of all of that fell apart but every time I saw them face to face or even on Zoom when they had their cameras on, somehow they were still smiling and just the memories of all these megawatt smiles is just seared into my brain because it actually helped me get through this year as much as it helped them get through this year. So yeah, I think that's it. I wish that this group of young women follow that one word that I've given them and that I've pounded into their heads, and that is networking. I really genuinely hope they go out there and they contact friends and the friend's cousin and the person who sits next to you in class and just connect with as many people as they can, but because it'll often be the people who are in their outer circles who can open doors for them, who can make connections for them. So I really hope that some of them especially can overcome their shyness and their fear and connect with more people. I wish that they maintain their beautiful personalities, characteristics, whatever makes them special in their unique ways, um, that they don't conform to just a general standard out there. They don't sacrifice the beauty in their souls for conforming to a general standard out there. They're beautiful souls and they have great things to offer to our community. So I hope that they maintain true to themselves and it just go out there doing whatever is the best for them, but at the same time also um, you know, doing the best for, for the world it is as well. So I wish you all the very best for your future. And I know without any doubt that you will all achieve whatever you wish, um, you know, whatever you set your minds on, I'm pretty sure. Wish for you is to choose your own journey, to follow the path that you really wanted to follow, to find that passion and that drive because that makes your work life, your everyday so much fun. I can only wish for their happiness and well-being. I wish they will like university life or any other path they will decide and hopefully they'll all become successful and happy in the years ahead. I wish that whatever they, they really want from their heart, it comes true. Best wishes to whatever you want to do in the future and whatever pathway you choose to take and I'm sure you'll all get where you want to get eventually. There's an old saying about when you leave year 12 that you find out in about three months after completion who your friends really are. Um, everyone starts to go off in their own direction. We'll end up saying to people, oh let's catch up, let's do this, let's do that, but you never do because it remains on social media or it remains through text messages or phone calls. My wish is that particularly this year where they've had to rally around each other to support each other to get through what's been an unbelievably difficult final year of school, that that tokenistic statement actually becomes reality and that they do stay in contact with each other. They're, they've supported each other so much to get through their final year that they owe it to each other to keep in contact, keep building the friendships, make them professional networks, continue to learn of each other and support each other through because once they start to head into their own life, they will go in different directions, but it's always really important to remember who you are and where you came from. So if they can stay in contact in the real world rather than just in the digital world, I think they'll be all the better for it. My wishes for them would be to maybe still get to experience some milestones that they missed out on um, this year. If it's not this year, maybe, you know, at university, at their graduation there, try to catch up on some of the stuff they missed out on um, because it has been a really tough year that they've had to endure um, and that's my wishes for them. I hope that they can continue to demonstrate the kind of resilience that they've demonstrated this year because I think that's something that is so valuable and that's going to stand them in such good stead for their entire future and beyond that, you know, I hope they all experience the success that they hope for. I wish for them to basically pursue their dreams, especially the current Year 12 cohort. They've shown us that they're a very resilient bunch with COVID-19 and what, what we had to go through with the disruptions we've had and everything, but they've done exceptionally well and I've got no doubt that obviously at the time of this recording they haven't sat their exams yet, but I've got no doubt, doubt that they will do exceptionally well and they will reach their dreams and targets. 
I wish them all the best because they deserve the best. Uh, they survived one in a century situation very successfully, very resiliently. So they came out of it stronger, braver. So I wish them all the best. I hope they achieve all their dreams. Well, I wish them all the best, much success. I believe these girls have learnt a lot of resilience this year with everything that we've gone through. So I know they will be strong, whatever life puts before them. I believe that they will get through it no matter what. They've learned that lesson, probably in a hard way, because we've come through the other end, girls. Stay positive and you will be able to face any challenge that comes your way. Have fun. Life's meant to be fun. Don't lose sight of what's important. Don't get too caught up in needing to get into the right course straight away or even knowing what you necessarily want to do straight away. See where life takes you. There are so many opportunities that will suddenly crop up. They won't be things you ever thought of doing, but they'll turn out to be the right path. And so just, you know, um, have a plan, but don't lose sight of those other things that can crop up and the fun directions in which they can take you. I always tell them, stay true to yourself. Uh, I hope they can do this and I hope they can face their fears because success awaits one step further than your comfort zone. Be prepared to be uncomfortable. Be prepared to step out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to say no to an opportunity that presents itself. By taking the opportunities in life, these young ladies will take themselves in directions that they can't even begin to imagine right now. Uh, so if they are willing to learn, willing to say yes, willing to continue to uncover new things about their own life personally and professionally, their future is limitless. Yes, I have a couple of advice. One, they should keep their close relationship with one another. University is not the best place to make best friends. The secondary school is. Number two, the course they will choose does not have to be their only pathway. University education is an enlightenment process. They'll explore their options on the way, so you don't have to rush things. Three, don't neglect your spiritual life and never choose any type of entertainment over your spiritual and mental well-being. At the end of the day, life itself is a tough road and they will definitely need some strength or help that they will not be able to get from people. My advice is only deal with good people in life. My advice would be for them to actually achieve their dreams and goals and, and to, to basically serve their community in the future as well. My advice would be don't worry if something doesn't go to plan straight away. Um, just stick at it, follow the pathway you're on, jump paths if you need to, that's fine. And just follow your passion and you'll get there eventually. And also get out and see the world. Advice would be to finish everything to your absolute most ability because some of you are right now are probably thinking the finish line is so close, you know, I've already done the hard yards, this is like 13 years of your life, but the race that you're running right now, girls, it still has a little bit more time and that's when you've got to put in the effort and that's what will make the difference. My advice is for them to make sure that they always have an insight in terms of helping other people, finding good out there in our community, doing good um, in that process as well and um, you know trying giving everything a try not just refraining from whatever is going through their minds because it might be looked down upon or because it might not be cool enough but just just giving everything a pursuit and um, doing their best with it i think if they persevere with whatever they have learned throughout this stage i think they will do great things and um, you know they will they will be successful individuals but also they will also lead to a successful community for our whole whole world as well to follow their heart to follow their dreams and to not give up. Take the opportunities, uh, opportunities at uni, TAFE with friends and family for traveling. Make sure you're networking because all of these things are what make memories and make fulfilled and, and experienced life. Um, so don't be afraid to take that jump and take that leap. Stay positive. Um, try and see the positive of everything that you go through. I think I've been saying this to my students all along that what is meant to be for you will be for you. Whenever it happens, it will happen. Don't stress if you're not at the same level or at the same place in life as other people. Your time will come. Try and find something that you're passionate about and, and do that. And also there are many ways to get to the end. Um, so don't think there's just one road 
uh, to your final destination or to whatever you're meant to, uh, the mark you're meant to leave in this life, I guess. Uh, there are many ways and different timelines for everyone. Put faith in the skills that you have built up this year. Some of them see this year with all the things they have lost. But at the end of the day, you gain something from every experience. You're not leaving year 12 incomplete. You have completed year 12. And on top of that, you have gone through a global pandemic. You have built up skills that last year's year 12s have not been able to build up because they haven't gone through this. So you're not leaving as someone who has lacked or has missed out. You have gained things that others have not gained. So operate with that in mind.